Get okay, so what I wanted to do today was see if I could make a smoke pellet and then um, see how that would work out. Uh, maybe using that along with stars, but then you wouldn't be able to do it at night. So maybe it'd be nice to kind of make like a daybreak show or something. So I'm just going to do one pellet because I'm not sure if it's going to work. Um, I haven't wet this or anything, so I'm going to hope that just by the use of the compaction, it'll compress it kind of like uh, how they do medication. It's powder form. Then they just kind of press it into like the pill form. So we'll see if this even works. Um, this is my yellow mix here. This is all I have left. Uh, I haven't ordered any dyes or anything from the company I usually get. So um, I still have a lot of red and green and purple. But the yellow they had just sent me as a free sample to try it out. And it wasn't much. It was like, I don't know, like 10 grams or something. 50 grams, I can't remember. But it was just enough to make this nice batch right here. So... We'll see how that works. This one, I don't really like because it's very fluffy. It's not like very dense like the other ones that I have. This one is just uh, really fluffy. So hopefully just it works out. So let's see. So yeah, if I can make these little pellets, that'd be kind of cool too. I mean, I know Amazon sells little smoke pellets. Um, I'd have to find a use for a smoke pellet, but like I said, a, a daybreak shell or a rocket or something with a daybreak would be kind of cool, but we'll see. All right, so let's just take this guy. I'm gonna press it at a thousand PSI. Get right in the center if I can. Maybe I'll bump it up a little bit. Maybe like 1200 or something. All right, spin it back over here. Flip it over. Knock off the excess, whatever that is, a little dust in there. I don't have my scraper because uh, it's inside. I, that's the only one thing I don't like that I have two areas that I kind of like messing with and then it's like I'm still stuck trying to keep all the stuff in one location. But let's see if I can pop this guy out. All right, yeah, it's going to require the press. Let's see. Let's put this guy on here like this. And then slowly. All right. Bring it over here. Let's see if this worked out. So it made a smoke pellet. It feels pretty solid. You can see a little bit of shininess to it. So that means it's compacted very nicely. I'm, I don't know about the strength. So I'm going to kind of squish it a little bit and see what it does. No, actually, yeah. So it's compacted into a pellet, which is pretty nice. Um, it doesn't fall apart really easily. So that's good. Yeah, so the powder for this yellow mix, I could uh, press out a whole bunch of these little smoke pellets. Um, we'll probably give it a little test and everything, but I kind of like the shininess on the side because that shows you that it's very compacted and uh okay so i'll have to see about doing a star prime and see if that'll work and then you know to light it up and everything all right let me move this camera back a little bit yeah i think because it's also pressed so tightly it's not going to light as easy Yeah, it's working, but it's kind of not because it's too too compressed. Um, so using a star prime or something probably won't work as good because 
it'll initially light it but it might not keep it lit but that's also part of the testing so we'll see how that works out nice little smoke ring there that was just a little bit of smoke too so or a little bit of smoke composition uh, anyways that's it for now so I'll just uh, end up making another video if I press a whole bunch of these little guys and we'll see how that works out